On 24th of April 1990 the NASA's Hubble Space Telescope was sent into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery, the first space telescope of its kind. It offered a new view of the universe and has for 30 years surpassed all expectations beaming back data and images that have changed scientists' understanding of the universe and the public's perception of it. Hubble's discoveries have revolutionized nearly all areas of present astronomical research from planetary science to cosmology and its pictures are remarkably breathtaking. Come, let's revisit some of Hubble's biggest science discoveries throughout its three decades of operation. A memorable result is the Hubble Deep Fields. These are extended observations of a particular region of the sky intended to reveal faint objects by collecting the light from them for an appropriately long time. These images fascinated scientists and the general public alike as were the thousands of galaxies captured in single images spawned widespread fascination and amazement. The original and now famous Hubble Deep Field image was released in 1996. In it Hubble found almost 3,000 distant galaxies. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field from 2004 was the deepest portrait of the visible universe ever achieved by humankind. The 2012 Hubble Extreme Deep Field was an impressive combination of many existing exposures, over 2,000 of them, into one image. By studying the thousands of galaxies captured in these deep field observations, including some of the most distant primeval galaxies we learned more and, more about the very early universe. The Hubble Frontier Fields Observing Campaign drew upon the power of massive clusters of galaxies to unleash the full potential of the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's sensitivity and high resolution allow it to see faint and distant gravitational lenses that are harder to detect with ground-based telescopes. An important consequence of lensing distortion is magnification which allows us to observe objects that would otherwise be too far away and too faint to be seen. Hubble makes use of this magnification effect to study beyond the sensitivity of its 2.4 meter diameter primary mirror by showing us the most distant galaxies humanity has ever encountered. Hubble's observations of lensing effects have also given us a glimpse of the cosmos that will be unveiled by the upcoming NASA. A CSA James Webb Space Telescope. One of Hubble's initial core purposes was to determine the rate of expansion of the universe known to astronomers as the Hubble constant. This value is an essential element needed to determine the age, size and fate of the cosmos. Before Hubble was launched the value of the Hubble constant was not known precisely and calculation of the age of universe ranged from 10 billion to 20 billion years. Now astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope's data and observations have refined their estimates of the universe's present expansion rate and are working to make it more accurate. Hubble's refined distance values have helped to put the age of the universe at 13.8 billion years. While improving the measurements of the Hubble constant the Hubble Space Telescope's data have also supported the development and use of the Cosmic Distance Ladder, which is an important scientific tool that is used to measure accurate distances to galaxies near to and far from Earth. This collected data by the astronomers implied that the universe has not been expanding at a constant rate but instead is accelerating. Many scientists believe this acceleration is caused by something called dark energy that must make up about 70% of the entire universe. 
By observing how dark energy behaves over time astronomers hope to gain a better understanding of what it is and how it might affect the future of the cosmos. The telescope also carried out surveys and developed new methods to look for clues about the mysterious large matter. Astronomers used Hubble to create a map of everyday visible matter from which they could trace the large, scale distribution of dark matter by studying how its gravitational presence distorted light and the images. Hubble has also lifted the veil surrounding the cosmic monsters that lurk at the center of most galaxies. The supermassive black holes Using its spectroscopic observing capabilities Hubble peered into the galaxy cores and found that the stars there moved in tight orbits at enormous velocities. This strange behavior indicated the presence of a truly colossal gravitational field that could only be produced by a supermassive black hole. Hubble provided the first solid proof of their existence. Today it is known that there is a black hole in the center of almost every galaxy. Another phenomenon that Hubble's instruments have observed throughout the years is quasars. These are powerful jets of energy that come from extremely luminous galactic centers. The power from a quasar is enormous and they typically have luminosities thousands of times brighter than the Milky Way. Recently, Hubble discovered the brightest quasar ever seen in the early universe. Hubble has revolutionized planetary science in a number of ways through its precise observations of our own solar system. Hubble had identified the dynamic activity on Jupiter and its moon Io. It also witnessed a comet crash into the planet's surface in 1994. Hubble has also observed the auroras on several of our solar system's planets including Saturn and Uranus. The telescopes data were also used to study the origin of the smallest known moon orbiting the planet Neptune known as Hippocamp. In 2013 Hubble provided the first observational evidence of water vapor on the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. The telescope has also captured observations of some special interstellar visitors. In 2018 Hubble studied the first interstellar object discovered in our solar system. In cooperation with other ground-based telescopes it was determined that the object was likely a comet and was moving from the Sun faster than previously expected. Hubble's higher resolving power has also been crucial in the investigation of regions of star formation both in the Milky Way and in other galaxies. And its infrared capabilities have allowed it to peer through the thick clouds of dust and gas present in those regions. The death of a star can be as beautiful and interesting as its birth. Hubble has observed both sun-like stars as they come to the end of their lives in the form of planetary nebulae. In massive stars experiencing explosive deaths as supernovae. By studying them at different times in their lives Hubble has allowed us to paint a more complete picture of stars, the building blocks of galaxies. By studying the Orion Nebula, Hubble made the stunning discovery that at least half of the stars in the region were surrounded by, rotating disks of gas and dust the raw materials necessary for the formation of planets. In 2019 in an exciting discovery the telescope's data were used to detect water vapor in the atmosphere of a super-Earth within the habitable zone. 
K218b is eight times the mass of Earth and at its discovery was the only planet orbiting a star outside the solar system known to have both water and temperatures that could support life. Hubble's observations have shown us that planets are being formed around many more stars than previously thought, increasing the possibility that life could exist somewhere out there. And in the future, Hubble could possibly find hints of life in one of these discoveries. An outstanding successful project of international cooperation between NASA and European Space Agency the Hubble Space Telescope will continue to work for as long as its components operate and it provides a good service to the scientific community. Its unprecedented capabilities have made it one of the most powerful science instruments ever conceived by humans and certainly the one most embraced by the public. Three decades after its historical launch we look back at its unparalleled scientific contributions and its spectacular imagery while anxiously awaiting what discoveries are yet to come.